Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how you can manually deploy a Docker image to Google Cloud Run. This isn't something that you would do very frequently, but I've done it a few times in the past where I didn't want to deal with setting up cloud build and that whole process. And I just wanted to get an image up there really quick and test it. So I figured I'd do a quick how-to video on this. So let's jump in and get started. First thing I'll do is I'll jump into the documentation from Google on how to do this. And so this is for pushing and pulling images to Container Registry. First thing you have to do is make sure that Container Registry is enabled in your project. And then second is configuring Docker and installing Docker. I'm going to assume that you already have Docker installed and configured. The easiest way to check to see if Container Registry is enabled is to just go to Container Registry. So here's a project that I have. I'm going to search for Container Registry and go to that. If it isn't already enabled for you, then there would be a little page here that says it's not enabled. You just click the enable button and then you're all set. You scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there's instructions on how to configure permissions. The first thing you need to make sure you have is the storage admin role. And again, you can check that by going into Google Cloud Console, going to IIM, finding your user in here and making sure that you have storage admin. In this project, I'm the owner, so I have basically full permissions on everything. So this is already set up for me. And the second thing you have to do is you have to tag your image and then push your image to the registry. In my example, I want to deploy this .NET API to Cloud Run. This is a Docker file that I have for this. I'm not gonna go through a lot of this because I'm assuming that if you're doing this, that you're gonna be doing it for any type of Docker file, not just for .NET. And the first thing you need to do is you need to build your image. So the command for this is docker build. I'll give it a tag of manual test, and then I'll say run it from the current working directory. And one thing I wanna point out, which doesn't apply to everybody, but if you're using a Mac and you have an M1 chip or an M2, any of the ARM chips, if you build this, it's going to build it assuming that that image will be used on an ARM processor. And that's not the case. Google Cloud Run, they're not running on ARM. So you have to tell it what platform to build this on. And so if you're in this situation, you have to add one more small thing to this Docker build command. Instead of Docker build, you're gonna use Docker build X, build, give it the tag name, and then you specify the platform. So dash dash platform, and then whatever platform you wanna to compile to. All right, so this is my command. I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and I'll put a link down below to the document page for how to do multi-platform builds for Docker. All right, so my build is complete. The next thing we have to do is we have to tag the image. So I'll go back to the documents from Google, and what you have to do is you have to tag whatever your image name is with the location that you're going to push it to in Google Cloud. So in your case, this would be Docker tag, whatever image name you chose, and then gcr.io slash whatever your project name is, and then a name that you wanna use, probably the same name as your tag. And this project name that's right here, this comes from your Google Cloud project. And there's a few ways you can get that project name from Google Cloud. A lot of times it's in the URL that's up here at the top. If not, if you go to the navigation menu and then in Cloud Overview, you wanna use this project ID that's right here. In the docs, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna go into Writer. I'm gonna paste that in. I'm gonna change the name. My image was manual test. My project ID is SB YouTube Playground. And then this tag is also manual test. So go ahead and run that. So that has now tagged that image with that Google Cloud Registry address. And then back in the docs, the last step is you push it. So docker push, and then you give it the name that you just tagged it as. So in my case, docker push, and I'm just gonna copy this so I don't screw it up, and then enter. Okay, so that did push up. Now if you go back into Google Cloud, if you go into container registry, you should see under images, you now have a new folder with whatever name you used. Mine was manual tests. And in there you can see there's your image. And now that you have this image in container registry, deploying to Cloud Run is super easy. If you go into Cloud Run, you can create a new service. And from this create service page, what you wanna do is you want to select that container as the starting container for your service. So if you click select and you switch over to container registry, you can see I have this folder for manual test and right there is that image. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And everything from here on out is the exact same as how you would normally set up your Cloud Run instance. So I'm just gonna go through this pretty quick. I'm gonna leave everything as the very basics and then go ahead and click create. And that should go ahead and deploy this for you. And there now you can see my deployment is done. I can click this URL to go look at it. I need to go to a Swagger page on mine. And there you go, now it's running. So that is how you can do a manual push and deployment of a Cloud Run container. Hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll put links to all these documents that I use in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.